Remember when you ran away? I got on my knees and I begged you not to leave. I'd go berserk. You left me anyhow. Then the days got worse and worse. And now you see I've gone completely out of my mind. They're coming to take me away. They're coming to take me away. To the funny farm. To the funny farm. To the funny Where life is beautiful all the time. And I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats. Because they're coming to take me away. He thought it was a joke. And see you laugh. You laughed when I said that losing you would make me flip my head. You know you laughed. I heard you laugh. You laughed. You laughed and laughed and then you left. And now I'm utterly mad. They're coming to take me away. They're coming to take me away. To the happy home with trees and flowers and jerking birds. Basket weavers who sit and smile and twiddle their thumbs and toes. They're coming to take me away. I cooked your food. I cleaned your house. And this is how you pay me back for all my kind, unselfish loving deeds. Will you just wait? They'll find you out. And when they do, they'll put you in the ASPCA, you mangy mutt. They're coming to take me away. They're coming to take me away. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. And I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats. They're coming to take me away. They're coming to take me away. Hitler was a sensitive man. 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 He went to art school when he was younger. He Hitler. wanted to be a painter. Hitler was a vegetarian. Hitler. He was also a non-smoker. Hitler was a sensitive man. 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 He hired gay and handicapped officers. He was concerned about overpopulation. If Hitler Hitler was alive today, he'd listen to The Cure, The Smiths and Depeche Mode. Hitler was a sensitive man. 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 Swollen with liquid. Ready to burst. A load of my lymph will quench this dead body's thirst. One month in the grave, twisted and half decayed. She turned a putrid yellow. I pissed in a maggot filled asshole. Fucking the rotting. My semen is bleeding. The smell of decay seeps from her genital cavity. The smell was unbearable as I unburied her. I come blood for my erection. I feel it run down her throat. Swallow. Eyes glassy and vacant. Body dug up to play with. Skin greasy and naked. Tonguing a rotted anus. I need a live woman to fill with my fluid. A delicate girl to mutilate fucking kill. Her body exceptional. She thought I was normal. But I wanted more. I came blood inside of her. Choking on the clot. Gagging on the snot. Gushing blood from her mouth. Bloody gel leaking out. Body buried in a shallow grave. Unmarked for none to find. The sickness I have left behind. Undetected go my crimes. The greatest thrill of my life. Slit my own cock with a knife. Violent. 
climax, surgeon Searman on my skin. Back from the dead, I am resurrected to spew. Putrefaction. Putrefaction. Woman, I'm in love with you. My love's deep. My love is true to you. Woman, woman, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Your hair's so soft. Your eyes are blue. Your skin is warm. I'll be true to you. Woman, I'm in love. I'm in love. You came to me in a dream. I'm sure you gave your love. You gave much more to me. Woman, woman, will you marry me? Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and to cherish, in sickness and in health? To death do you part? I do. I do. I do. To death do us part. 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 No. Well, what's that you just said to me? You didn't argue like this yesterday. Woman, I don't understand. And what's that you just said to me? I can't sit at home and watch my TV. Woman, you're annoying me. Yeah, you sit around the house in your dirty clothes, looking a mess and picking your nose. Woman, you're a fucking mess. Your tits are big. But your brains are small. Sometimes I wonder if your brains at all. Woman, go fuck yourself. Well, fuck you, fuck you. Don't you tell me what to do. Woman, oh, fuck off. God, why did I marry you? What did I do to deserve you? Woman, why me? Woman, you've ruined me. Sometimes I just try to do things and it just doesn't work out the way I wanted to. I get real frustrated and I'm like, I try hard to do it and I like take my time and it doesn't work out the way I wanted to. It's like I concentrate on it real hard, but it doesn't work out. And everything I do and everything I try never turns out. It's like I need time to figure things out, but there's always someone there going, Hey Clem, you know, we've been noticing you've been having a lot of problems lately. You know, you should try, maybe get away and like, maybe you should talk about it. You'll feel a lot better. And I go, no, no, it's okay. You know, I'll figure it out. Just leave me alone and I'll figure it out. You know, I'll just work it out myself. And they go, well, you know, if you want to talk about it, I'll be here. You know, you'll probably feel a lot better. I get talked about it. So why don't you talk about it? I go, no, oh, I just want to, I'm okay. I'll figure it out myself. And they just keep bugging me and they keep bugging me and it builds up inside. You're going to be institutionalized. You'll come out brainwashed with bloodshot eyes. You won't have any say. They'll brainwash you until you see their way. I'm not crazy. Institution! You're the one who's crazy. Institution! You're driving me crazy. Institution! They stuck me in an institution, said it was the only solution, to give me the needed professional help, to protect me from the enemy, myself. I was in my room, and I was just like staring at the wall, thinking about everything. But then again, I was thinking about nothing. And then my mum came in, and I didn't even know she was there. She called my name, and I didn't even hear it. And then she started screaming, Clem, Clem! And I go, what? What's the matter? She goes, what's the matter with you? I go, there's nothing wrong with me, mum. And she goes, don't tell me that. You're on drugs. And I go, no, mum, I'm not on drugs. I'm okay. I was just thinking, you know, why don't you get me a Pepsi? And she goes, no, you're on drugs. And I go, mum, I'm okay. I'm just thinking. She goes, no, you're thinking you're on drugs. Normal people don't act that way. I go, mum, just give me a Pepsi, please. All I want is a Pepsi, and she wouldn't give it to me. All I wanted was a Pepsi, just one Pepsi, and she wouldn't give it to me, just a Pepsi. They give you a white shirt with long sleeves, tied around your back, you're treated like thieves. Drug you up because they're lazy. It's too much work to help a crazy. I'm not crazy. Institution! You're the one who's crazy. Institution! You're driving me crazy. Institution! I'm sitting in my room, and my mum and dad come in. They pulled up a chair, they sat down, they go, Clem, we need to talk to you. I go, okay, what's the matter? They go, me and your mum have been noticing lately that you've been having a lot of problems. You've been going off for no reason, we're afraid. We're afraid you're gonna hurt somebody. We're afraid you're gonna hurt yourself. 
So we decided that would be in your best interest if we put you somewhere where you could get the help that you need. And I go, wait, what are you talking about? We decided my best interest. How can you know what my best interest is? How can you say what my best interest is? What are you trying to say? I'm crazy? Well, I went to your schools. I went to your churches. I went to your institutional learning facilities. So how can you say I'm crazy? They say they're going to fix my brain, alleviate my suffering and my pain. But by the time they fix my head, mentally, I'll be dead. I'm not crazy. Institution! You're the one who's crazy. Institution! You're driving me crazy. Institution! They stuck me in an institution, said it was the only solution to give me the need of professional help, to protect me from the enemy, myself. It doesn't matter. I'll probably get hit by a car anyway. <laughs> Winona's got herself a big brown beaver, and she shows it off to all her friends. One day, you know, that beaver tried to leave her, so she caged him up with a cycling fence. Along came Lou with the old baboon and said, I recognise that smell. Smells like seven layers. That beaver's eating Taco Bell. Now Rex, he was a Texan out of New Orleans and he travelled with the carnival shows. He ran bumpers, sucked cheap cigars and he candied up his nose. <laughs> he got wind of the big brown beaver so he thought he'd take himself a peek. But the beaver was quick and grabbed him by the kiwis and he ain't pissed for a week. Winona took the big brown beaver and she stuck him up in the air, said, I sure do love this big brown beaver and I wish I did have a pair. Now the beaver once slept for seven days and it gave us all an awful fright. So I tickled his chin and I gave him a pinch and the bastard tried to bite me. Winona loved a big brown beaver and she stroked him all the time. She pricked her finger one day and it occurred to her she might have a porcupine. Do you feel that? Oh shit. Ooh, uh, Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Drowning deep in my sea of loathing. Broken your servant, I kneel. Will you give it to me? It seems what's left of my human side is slowly changing in me. Will you give it to me? Looking at my own reflection, when suddenly it changes, violently it changes. Oh no, there is no turning back now. You've woken up the demon in me. Come on and get down with the sickness. You mother, get up and get down with the sickness. You fucker, get up and get down with the sickness. Madness is the gift that you have given to me. I can see inside you. The sickness is rising. Don't try to deny what you feel. Will you give it to me? It seems that all that was good has died and is decaying in me. Will you give it to me? It seems you're having some trouble in dealing with these changes, living with these changes. Oh no, the world is a scary place. Now that you've woken up the demon in me. Come on and get down with the sickness. You mother, get up and get down with the sickness. You fucker, get up and get down with the sickness. Madness is the gift that has been given to me. No, mummy, don't do it again. Don't do it again. I'll be a good boy. I'll be a good boy. I promise. No, mum, don't hit me. Ah Why did you have to hit me like that, mummy? Don't do it. You're hurting me. Ah! Why did you have to be such a bitch? Why don't you? Why, why don't you just fuck off and die? Why can't you just fuck off and die? Why can't you just leave here and die? Never stick your hand in my face again, bitch. Fuck you. I don't need this shit, you stupid, sadistic, abusive fucking whore. Would you like to see how it feels, mummy? Here it comes. Get ready to die. I'm calling out from Scatland. I'm calling out from Scatland's world. If you want to break free, you better listen to me. You've got to learn how to see in your fantasy. Everybody's talking something very shocking just to keep on blocking with their feeling aside. But listen to me, brother. You just keep on walking because you and me and sister ain't got nothing to hide. Scat man, fat man, 
black and white and brown man, tell me about the colour of your soul. If part of your solution isn't the ending of pollution, then I don't want to hear your stories told. I want to welcome you to Skatman's World. I'm calling out from Scatland. I'm calling out from Scatland's world. If you want to break free, you better listen to me. You've got to learn how to see in your fantasy. Everybody's born to compete as he chooses, but how can someone win if winning means that someone's loses? I sit and see and wonder what it's like to be in touch. No wonder all my brothers and my sisters need a crutch. I want to be a human being, not a human doing. I couldn't keep that pace up if I tried. The source of my intention really isn't crime prevention. My attention is prevention of the lie. Yeah, welcome to the scat man's world. I'm calling out from Scatland. I'm calling out from Scatman's world. If you want to break free, you better listen to me. You've got to learn how to see in your fantasy.